so hey guys what is up and welcome to another video so today we're gonna react to another farlight update video this coming april 18 so let's check out the video and here it is try natin panoorin so this is my first time watching it na Hi everyone, it's Chance. It's been quite a while since our last rendezvous. Still remember me? I know it'll be like, where's Lazy, well, lazy, lazy Well, the truth is, he's currently very busy with the latest no, no, Vanguard no, no, test no. server for version 2.2. So today, I'll take his camera to unveil the patch note for the upcoming update. As many of you may know, Fall 84 is about his one year mark. Yep, no one this year, anniversary no update is scheduled on April 18th. It will bring you a lot of new features, mm. including the new season system, sleek user interfaces, mm -hmm. revamped heroes, mm -hmm. game balance adjustments, and so much more. Yep, and that's not all. Update na to. We've also prepared a series of unprecedented events and activities in and out of the game. This include anniversary awards, in-game items, and official merchandises. I know you guys have been waiting for a very long time. As usual, we've also got three gift codes for you today. Don't forget to redeem them after the video. All right, let's get right into what's gift next codes. in this version update. In the past, our in-game rewards were all over the place. I would spend so much time in the lobby, clicking away like a crazy boy just to claim all kinds of rewards. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. and talk about me. time well spent. Well, here's the all-new season system. In this new system, each season will last three months, each with unique themes and challenges. The new season design will provide us with a clearer sense of goals and participation. Through what? Through the Triumph Tracker. Now, rank task, battle pass, and mm. daily tasks will all combine into the new mm, Triumph Tracker. Long. Triumph That's Tracker nice. is way more concentrated and efficient. You only need to focus on leveling up the Triumph Ay, Tracker. Hint, uh? Bagong skin ni Momoy. And get all kinds of rewards from it. Just ah, battle, yes. complete task, girl. level up, and get the rewards. By the way, rewards are upgraded as well. Like there's a free SSR skin in the tracker Magi. once certain levels are reached. And way mm. more rewards after the paid tracker is unlocked. We also know that you are tired of getting only golds in the game after you max out your levels. So in this season, we're introducing an all new currency. Farlight coin. coins can be used in the Farlight store for a variety of cosmetic items. In this update, you can use Farlight coin to redeem Maggie's new upgradable SSR skin, Firestorm Major. And good news, Farlight coins won't be reset, so you can save them up season after season. In celebration of this special anniversary update, the advanced tracker will be unlocked for free for everyone Ooh. in version 2.2. Just update the game but on April 18 and you will see the tracker unlocked right there. For future seasons, the duration will also be prolonged to three months with much upgraded rewards. The price of the advanced tracker will also change to 1,299 diamonds. So at least we don't hey. lose money. These items are cosmetic items that do not affect gameplay. So you'd like to support Fallout 84 by buying one of these advanced tracker in the future. Thank you so much. Free to play players, no worries. You'll get lots of rewards and resources as well. And your gameplay will not be affected at all. This free tracker is just a taste of our anniversary festivities. We've got mm -hmm. plenty more surprises in the coming days and weeks. So follow us on the social mm -hmm. and stay tuned. Now let's talk about the lobby. And let's not just talk about it, but look Ooh. at it. In the lobby after this update, yeah, theme season content and play squad info will be more prominent. New tracker tags will be easily accessible as well. Know your aim, find your drive. Check out some new interactive features. Battery smooth and well optimized. Now, mm -hmm. this is why Fallout 84 is different from all other games. As if it isn't cool enough, take a look at your character and equipment right here in the lobby. Whoa! Mm -hmm. We've also simplified the starting platform. First, we've introduced a more stylish and streamlined matchmaking window. Uh, also, yes, you can now enter a warm-up match while you wait, instead of doing literally nothing on the platform. 
This new visual style is part of how we envision Fala 84 to be fresh and cutting edge. You'll certainly see more of it in future updates. What else you'll see is a new gift code. Take a screenshot and let's move on oh, to the next gift code, guys. I have a question for you all. Who's the most charming hero in Fala 84? Well, I'd Phantom. say it's Phantom. Phantom has always been a standout hero in Fala 84. In this new update, We've made some adjustments to her skills. Ooh, her first tactical Phantom. skill, Portable Scout, allows her to throw a scanning device scan towards yeah. a target location, obtaining the enemy position. Her passive skill has now returned, granting increased Ooh, my damage passive skill. with boring headshots with a Damn. Additionally, she now has a brand new tactical skill, Phantom Crash. This skill allows her to put a crash. trap earring that pops up and activates when the enemy come close. Oh. Dealing increasing damage over time to with ka. radius. It's worth mentioning that our signature old optical camel has undergone some balancing adjustments. When mm. groups go invisible and coordinate with teammates, it creates situations that are difficult to counter. So in this update, after casting her old, Phantom will only turn herself invisible oh, while providing a speed boost to teammates. But okay. be cautious, getting too Good close day. to enemies weakens the effect. While in stealth mode, weapons will be holstered and any attack action will stop the stealth mode immediately. Oh. Phantom is ready to dive into the chaos of My device, always watch your back. There will be, there will be a new skill possible. introduction video for Phantom. Don't miss out. Ooh. In this update, our rock star Michelle has also gained a new tactical skill, Sonic Tracking. Michelle releases a scan in a fan-shaped area ahead. If enemies are detected, Michelle's cute little rabbits will appear. These rabbits Damn. are in the same numbers as the enemies and will die. Ang open na ni Michelle. Okay, then. Para mo da damage nila. Slowing them down and revealing their position. You better watch out. Don't get caught up. In addition to Phantom and Michelle, we've also yeah. made some adjustments to all heroes. Jeez. In this update. We focused on the relationship between damage and a character's speed. Typically, maintaining precise aim in intense battles is a challenge, especially when your enemies are constantly on the move. In this update, we're introducing a new mechanism of universal damage slowdown. Now, what? being attacked by enemies will result in a temporary reduction in. Hala! Paano na yan? Babagal ka na di ka na agad makakapagtago. What? Di ka na makakatakas agad pag binabaril ka. In movement speed. If you are in sprint or is receiving a speed buff, you're still affected but to a lesser degree. No. However, if a hero is performing a slide or jump action when taking damage, their speed won't be affected. This is because these movements are inertial mm. and thus aren't impacted by the attack. Talong -talong now you can aim more accurately or with slide. less pressure in the battles. On the other hand, Why? jet slide and jump will become more important for evading enemies and counter attacks. More tactical choices and combat strategy. Jet slide is also improved. Now <laughs> it's even slide. smoother and responsive. You can now cast skills while jet sliding. Mm -hmm. You can also crouch oh. in the mid air to jet slide, which what? applies smoother and responsive. You can now cast mm. skills while jet sliding. Oh, you, you can also crouch in the mid air to jet slide, which applies to both side and backward jump. This means that whether you are on the ground or in the air, you nice. can just slide at any time, enhancing your ability to obey tax. We've also changed some general settings to provide a more balanced and fair experience. Previously, the balance between characters of different sizes was reflected through different base health points. Now, all characters have the same HP. Instead, mm. we adjust balance based on the character's head and body size. For example, larger characters will receive additional damage reduction and immunity to slowing effects with heat. In this update, what? we've made several adjustments to firearms. We have fine-tuned the handling of all weapons, particularly focusing on their recoil and weight of fire, especially when firing from the hip. This has resulted in increased bullet spread and a slight decrease in rate of fire, mm -hmm. making it more challenging to accurately hit enemies. Additionally, we have adjusted assembly logic for scopes, magazines, stocks, and muzzles, categorizing them into four types, submachine gun, sniper rifle, shotguns, and rifles. This requires players to select magazine types based on the weapon category, 
If your long-term strategy involves using the sniper rifle, collecting mm -hmm. sniper mm -hmm. rifle attachments mm -hmm. early mm -hmm. in the match might be a wise decision. Okay. Furthermore, as the heroes level up, they will also increase their firearm specialization level, thereby affecting the base mm -hmm. damage of weapons. We will enhance the value of weapons and attachments found inside golden chests and evenly distribute them across the map. Don't forget to open them. Moreover, you can now cast your skills in more scenarios. For example, Ember can cast these skills while reloading. So can what? Bo, Captain, Phantom, and Watchman the skills. Puro, ano na, barbak bakan, no? Now, here's oh. a second gift code. Make sure to redeem it afterwards. Yeah, another gift code, guys. The new map, Sunder Realms, what? has been out for a while now. What, what, what? And we're still improving it. We noticed that some strongholds did not foster enough intense battles and mobility, which was not what we wanted. So firstly, we've added jump pads and zip lines. Again, to add more vertical and horizontal depth to battles. Next, we simplified the map We removed some text info such as task, vehicle switch, and high value resources area. Instead, they are replaced with more intuitive event prompts. You can now quickly understand what's happening on the map and make decisions more timely. Lastly, we've optimized the display of the minimap as well as some UI elements. There are also some important new things and adjustments di, coming di to the map. map. First, the revive system will have a new mechanism. In when the first shrinkage occurs, respawners will be disabled. Upon your first death, you must wait for the entire team to be eliminated before returning to the battlefield together. <laughs> or you can respawn after waiting for a maximum of 60 seconds. Sabay, sabay also, pa kayo mo. introducing a brand new weird. device. Revival device. Did this happen to you? Your teammate died far away and it's not possible to revive them in time. This may bago pang revive, may isa pang chance. Ay, hindi lang isa kung madami kayong ma... Ito. Madami kayong mahanap na ganito. Kasi maganda. No Nabubuhay niyo sila ulit. Died. However, after the teammates are revived, the revival device will slowly disappear and cannot be used again. Mm. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, this means you can ambush your enemies and the revival device. Perhaps they're already on the way to revive their teammates. Fights will be more intense. There's also a new game elements in the game. And extended item. Baka dito lang sa mapa na yun, yung bago. Or kasama na din sa Sunset. will enhance your combat and survival abilities. These items are magazine pouch. Uy. May helmet na. <laughs> what? Hindi ka na one hit ng bar. Huh? Medical container Grabe si and shield storage. Mm. Each of them can increase the maximum number of mm -hmm. items you can carry. Equip a magazine pouch and you'll get more ammo capacity. Okay. Equip a medical container and you'll get more medical kit capacity. Oh, okay. And so on and so forth. That's These extended ito. items come Madame in different qualities. Ano? Higher quality items Madame provide Madame more carry capacity and additional attributes. For example, while the highest level medical container and shield storage can accelerate the use of medical kits and shield chargers. Finally, mm. there's a helmet feature. You no longer have to worry about getting headshots from afar without any protection. But note that unlike shield, helmets cannot be upgraded. The okay. catapult have also received upgrades with some interesting expansions. You can even do a double jump. In the new version, you'll gain hero XP alongside shield XP. So this device will become even more important. Don't forget to collect it. Mm, and that wraps up the combat-related adjustments in this update. I used now, it, I used. here's the third gift code for everyone. Make sure to redeem it promptly. The theme of this season's advanced tracker is Rebel BFFs. This tracker will be introducing the first ever UR Hero skin and a weapon skin. Let's take a look. UR Hero skin, Captain, top style. Whoa, Ooh. that's a bad, bad boy. <laughs> you are a weapon skin, Stella <laughs> Wing, bad, bad very bully. Surviving on the streets requires more than just... Sino gumagamit ng Stella? Isn't our skin, Momoi, Space Momoy, Lady. Galing, no? Squirrel Girl Momoi seems to be hiding some secrets. SSR weapon skin, Invader, Nova Nightmare. Invader, sino gumagamit ng Invader? Fire hard. More SSR skins of VSS7, loot box, jetpacks, and so many other SR skins. All included in the advanced tracker, mo. which is worth Ooh, 12 99 diamonds. And you will Look. get it for free. Ah, it's the dark side of the skin. Na yun, ah. What? Which is worth 12 99 diamonds. You know. And you will get it for free. 
the By the way, Freddy's also got a new UR skin in the lottery. Who remake skin is it? UR Barbie? skin Freddy Aurora Excursion. Next up are some system related changes. Hyping issues in certain regions will get better. Ooh, we will nice, get more nice, local nice, matches nice. depending on your region. We also noticed there is some imbalance between 3 player and 4 player sport mode. And only 20% of players would choose 4 player sport mode, which is way lower than the 3 player sport mode. At the same time, in order to shorten matchmaking time to get more players, the 4 player squad. sport mode will be suspended. Your historical rank of duo, trio, and quad mode will be combined. The new season's rank will be based on the highest rank achieved. However, in the future, four-player squad will also be offered in other non-ranked modes, like some regular mm. matches and entertainment modes. In these modes, you will still be able to enjoy playing with a team of four. Well, that, so spending any squad. game mode is a tough choice. We would love to keep as many game modes open as possible. Nagiging ano na siya Apex talaga tatlo lang yung Apex. to balance matchmaking time. We know some of you may feel sad about it, but we wish this tough choice could bring an overall better matchmaking experience. If you bring some friends back to Fall 84, things might change. And don't worry, all your historical score performances will be safe. Monthly and weekly car systems will be removed in this update. This corresponds to our effort to make the new season tracker more rewarding for a longer period of time. For those who have already purchased, your reward will still be delivered. Okay. Finally, in this video, we'd like to provide some sneak peeks into content that we are developing but not ready to put into the game just yet. As mentioned in the special announcement last year, mech boss mode is in development. And we have some updates for you. Battle okay, Royale mode and regional conflicts will both feature his presence. You can team up with your enemies to strategize against it. As for what rewards you can obtain, <laughs> stay tuned. And there's more, so subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more mm -hmm. news. Don't forget these are still under development and we wish you like the way we showcase these little sneak peeks for you. Fallout 84's version 2.2 okay, okay, update okay. will release on April 18th. This will be our anniversary update containing tons of optimization and new features. The new longer, more rewarding season long, system, the new Farlight Coins currency with more rewards, a brand new lobby design that is so cool, and the new in-game mechanisms like revival device and extended items, and many more quality of life updates. Don't forget to claim the free advanced tracker on April 18th. Follow us and turn on the <laughs> notification for quicker access to game updates. By the way, happy anniversary. This happy is anniversary. Chase signing off. Perfect. Peace. So ayun na nga no? and ang dami na lang ginawa ngayong update para lang maipabalik yung alam mo na yung mga ibang players na nagsialisan na may, may nilagay silang free battle pass para makaakit ulit ng mga players and maganda naman yung mga updates nila ngayon mga nilagay nila pero yung ayaw ko lang dun is yung pag tinatamaan ka nag-slow ka Parang ang hirap naman nun. Pero may, may counter mo naman yun pag tumatalon-talon ka lang. So overall, the update is uh, somewhat good. Um, excited ako sa mga, mga bagong meta na naman this update. So that's it. Kayo, anong masasabi nyo about sa update guys? Babalik ba kayo? Maglalaro ba kayo ulit? Kasi may bagong battle pass. Libre pa. So... Yun lang guys, ano masasabi yung sa update, comment yun lang dyan sa baba, and peace out, bye!